A parade of finely attired horse riders making their way into the old government house in the city center of Pasina State. This is a Durba cultural festival to celebrate Salah, also called Hawan Bariki. The festival comes up twice a year and attracts thousands of people from within and outside the country. Historians trace the beginning of the Hawanbariki Durba to January 1907, during the reign of the then Emir of Kassina, King Muhammad Udiko. The Durba is a sight to behold. From the incredible display of rich cultural heritage in the forms of dance, music and horsemanship, to the richly attired emir and his district heads, down to the warriors brandishing old-time weapons. The current regime is working to retain the tradition of organizing this festival, which has now become a tourist attraction. Well, it, it, it has been on for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Lady Deco, Emma of Catherine Deco, came to, um, to, to, to respect the governor. And since then, each year, every Emma has come to. Although culture takes center stage at the festival, government officials use the opportunity to speak on some of the priority areas which they will be giving attention to in the coming months. As you heard from His Excellency and also the, our leader, the Emir of Katana, as they are saying, they are talking about education, the education and also they are talking about foundation education. So I think it's among the restoration agenda of the present administration. So education is number one. So that is why whenever we come in, we emphasize on the education. And also the education, we are talking about the foundation education. That is the education at the foundation level, that is the primary education, the plan of the government and what I mean. Hundreds of people came to witness this festival, which has become a tourist magnet. But for many residents of the state, the fiesta is also important because it boosts economic activities in the state.